My name is Plato. Hello, welcome to another edition of Is It Real or Not? Today our guests are Bob Thompson, a very educated historian, and John Jones, one of the world's top archaeologists. Today's topic is Atlantis. Was it real or not? Let me give you a little bit of information about Atlantis. I was the first person to write about the lost city of Atlantis in my story called Timaeus which was written about in about the year 360 BC. These were the stories that were passed down to me by teachers, and I thought they were so interesting that I wrote about them. My story tells a very powerful nation that lies just outside the Pillars of Hercules in the Atlantic Ocean around the year 9600 BC. The Atlantis failed to conquer Athens, and overnight their entire continent disappeared into the depths of the ocean. Now I am going to ask archaeologist John Jones to prove that Atlantis really did exist. John, why don't you, why don't you introduce yourself? Well, I am an archaeologist, and I travel around the globe looking for clues that Atlantis really did exist. Here are a list of some things that either me or other archaeologists have found over the years. On a small island in the Strait of Gibraltar, I found a city that was five acres in size and had columns around the whole city. At that city, I found human footprints, shoe prints, and jewelry in rocks and were millions of years old. It looked to me like a volcano erupted and covered the city pretty quickly. Maybe this is the city of Atlantis, because Plato said that the city disappeared overnight. That's right, I did say that, John. Just a couple of years ago, in 2011, another archaeologist found an ancient island under the surface of the sea near the country of Greece. The island is called Andalusia. He found evidence the island was destroyed by a tsunami. Archaeologists in Asia discovered a roadway and steps near Japan, and in Taiwan they found a pyramid under the sea. These areas also could have been the mysterious Atlantis. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you telling me that you think Atlantis is near Greece and it's near Asia? I don't think you're right. Hold on, Bob, you'll have your turn. As I was saying, there is much evidence that there were people living in these areas and they were all destroyed by disasters like tsunamis, hurricanes, volcanoes, or earthquakes. The best evidence I have found is the existing island of Crete. I have found many different clues there that make me believe that Atlantis may have been there at one time. Around the year 6, 1620 BC, there was a volcano that that destroyed the island and all the people that lived there, the people who were called the Minoans, they seemed to arrive overnight and start wars with the nearby islands just as fast as they arrived. They were gone and they left behind some very interesting pottery and tombs that have ne has never been seen before. I believe that the Minoans on the island of Crete is the actual lost city of Atlantis. This and the story that Plato was told was changed to make them seem more powerful. Well that is some good information John. Now over to you Bob. What do you have to say about the lost city of Atlantis? Well I don't think Atlantis was real at all. I think Plato made the whole story up to give people a hope that a perfect group of people could exist. Plato's own student, Plutarch and Aristotle, both said that Plato told them he made the story up. Also, many historians have wondered why no one else has ever written about Atlantis before Plato did. Those archaeologists have no idea where to look for the lost city of Atlantis. They have said it is in the Sahara Desert, South America, the Irish Gulf, in the North Sea. In John's story of the Minoans on the island of Crete, being the Atlanteans, can't be true because the two stories are over 8,000 years apart from each other. If 
You asked me, the whole line of this story is made up. Well, thank you for sharing everything you know about the Lost of Atlantis, Bob and John. So what do you think? It's up to you to decide. The Lost of Atlantis, real or not?